Hello children. Today we will learn about plants around us. Plants are important in our life. They provide food for us. They prepare food through their leaves. They also provide food and shelter to many birds and animals. A plant has five main parts: a root, stem, leaves, flowers, and fruits. Roots are the part of a plant that grows down in the soil. They help the plant stand firm in the soil and in absorbing water from them. Stem is the stick-like central part of a plant which grows above the soil. It bears branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. It also carries water and other things to all parts of the plant. Leaves are the flat green part of a plant growing from the stem. They prepare food for the plants. Most of plants have flowers. They are the colored part of the plant from which the seeds or fruits develop. They usually grow at the end of the stem and last only a short time. Fruits are the part of a plant that consists of one or more seeds. Flowers change into fruits. There are different types of plants. Big plants are called trees. They have strong, thick and woody stems called trunks. They also have strong roots to hold them in the ground. Trunks have many branches to bear the leaves, flowers and fruits. They live for many years. Some trees such as coconut and palm are very tall, while banyan, mango and people spread out. Shrubs are the large plants that are smaller than the trees. They have several stems of wood. Their branches are borne on hard stems. They also live for many years. For example, gulmohar, bogan billy, tulsi, rose etc. Hedges are made by shrubs. Very small plants with soft and weak stems are called herbs. They live for few months only. Their leaves, flowers or seeds are used to flavor food in medicine or for their pleasant smell. For example, coriander, mint, spinach, tomato, etc. Climbers have very weak stems. They cannot stand straight on their own. They need support to grow. For example, grapevine, cucumber, bitter gourd, bottle gourd, money plant, etc. Creepers grow along the ground, up the walls, often binding themselves around other plants. For example, pumpkin, watermelon, etc. A tree or bush that has thorns is called a thorny plant. For example, rose plant. These thorns protect them from their enemies. Thorns in desert plants also prevent the loss of water. For example, acacia, apuntia, cactus, etc. We get our food from plants in the form of cereals, pulses, vegetables and nuts. The various types of grasses that produce grains which can be eaten or are used to make flour are known as cereals. For example, rice, wheat, bajra, maize, etc. The pulses that we eat are the seeds of the plants. Pulses help us to grow. They are known as body-building food. For example, arhar dal, moong dal, etc. Vegetable is a plant or part of a plant that is eaten as food. Different parts of a plant such as root, stem, leaf and fruit can be eaten by us. We get food like turnip, radish, carrot, sweet potato from roots. We get food like potato, sugar cane, ginger from stems of a plant. We get food like spinach, coriander, cabbage from leaves. Food in pumpkin, ladies' fingers, tomato, brinjal is stored in fruits. We also get nuts from plants. Nuts are dry fruits. They give us a lot of energy and nourishment. They can be stored for a long time. For example, almonds, cashew nut, groundnut, etc. Students, we will discuss about domestic animals. Some animals are very useful to us. So, we tame them at our home. These are called domestic animals. Domestic animals help us in many ways. Animals give us variety of food products. 
animals give us meat meat give us strength and energy hens give us eggs they help us grow and stay healthy they are eaten raw or used to make cakes and pastries they can also be eaten boiled or in the form of omelets animals such as goat buffalo and cow give us milk milk makes our body healthy and strong it is used to make a variety of milk products the woolen clothes we wear in winter are made up of wool sheep gives us wool silk is the fine soft thread which is obtained from silk worms they are found on mulberry tree honey is a sweet sticky yellow liquid which is produced by honey bees they store their honey in bee hive honey is also used as a medicine we get leather from some animals the skin of certain dead animals is made into leather the leather is very costly and is used to make a variety of objects a few animals like ox helps us to draw the water from wells plough the fields and also threshing off the grains certain animals such as camels donkeys elephants and bullocks help us in carrying loads from one place to another in villages and smaller towns they are called beasts of burden we should take care of pet and farm animals we should never hurt or tease them we should provide them with food and shelter we should allow them to take proper rest we should take them to a veterinarian whenever they are sick students just like we discussed about domestic animals we will discuss about wild animals the animals which live in jungle are called wild animals for example lions tigers elephants etc you can now see all the wild animals in the zoo some of them are given in the pictures here wild animals live in caves dens nests and under the tree some animals such as deer giraffe and elephant have no house they just wander into the forest birds build a variety of nests for themselves animals such as rabbits rats and snakes live in burrows or holes wild animals eat different types of food some eat plants some eat flesh while some eat both plants and flesh of other animals animals such as zebra giraffe deer and elephant eat only plants and grass they are called herbivores animals such as lion tiger eagle and crocodile eat flesh of other animals they are called carnivores some animals such as bear peacock and crow eat plants products as well as flesh of other animals they are called omnivores there are certain animals such as jackal hyena and vulture which are called scavengers they eat dead or decayed animals they do not allow the dead remains of animals to pile up animals are our wealth we should not try to harm them we should not cut too many trees or clear the forests the animals should live in their own natural surroundings